In this problem, we have two objects, A and B. They are moving along their own paths. Their velocities as well as the changes in their speeds are both given. And uh, we know that object A is moving along a straight line, but object B is doing curvilinear motion, traveling along a circular path with 25 meter radius. And we need to determine the magnitudes of the relative velocity and acceleration of B with respect to A. So to, to do that, the first thing we want to do is to establish our uh, coordinate system, our fixed coordinate system. And even though you can uh, set it up however you want, in this case, the conventional XY rectangular coordinate system works just fine. So this is our X and Y axes. And the next thing is to represent the, uh, what we know in terms of Cartesian vectors in our coordinate system. So because VA is four meter per second uh, along this direction, therefore we can easily resolve it into uh, X and Y direction. Therefore VA as a Cartesian vector equals to four times cosine 30 degree I plus four times sine 30 degree J. Therefore that equals to about 3.46i plus 2j in the unit of meter per second. And vb is simply pointing towards the negative x direction. Therefore, as a Cartesian vector, vb simply equals to negative 3i meter per second. So now we can go ahead and determine the relative velocity. Relative velocity of B with respect to A simply equals to the difference of their uh, uh, velocity vectors in the fixed XY coordinate system. Therefore, that is simply VB minus VA, which equals to negative 3i minus 3.46i plus 2j, and that equals to negative 6.46i minus 2j in the unit of meter per second. And since we're looking for the magnitude, the magnitude equals to square root of negative 6.46 squared plus negative 2 squared. And that is about 6.76 meter per second. So that's the magnitude of the relative velocity of object B with respect to A. For the acceleration, we need to do the same thing. So we need to first represent the accelerations of A and B in Cartesian vector form. Because object A is doing rectilinear motion, Therefore, the direction of its velocity does not change. Therefore, it only has one acceleration component that's going to be in this direction. Therefore, we can resolve that acceleration along the x and y axes respectively as well. Therefore, AA equals to the magnitude is one, one times cosine 30 degree I plus one times sine 30 degree j. And that equals to 0.866i plus 0.5j in the unit of meter per second square. Quite straightforward. Now, for object B, because it is doing curvilinear motion, its acceleration along the tangential direction is responsible for the change of the velocity magnitude, in other words, the change of speed. And that is negative 0.5 meter per second. Therefore, its AT is in this direction with a magnitude of 0.5 meter per second squared. Because its speed is decreasing, that indicates that the tangential acceleration is in the opposite direction. But at the same time, because 
It's doing curvilinear motion. Therefore, there's another acceleration responsible for changing the direction of velocity, and that is the normal acceleration, an. And we know that an equals to v squared over rho. In this case, it equals to um, 3 squared over the 25 meter radius. Therefore, this equals to 0 0.36 meter per second squared. And given the direction, we can tell that AB equals to positive 0 0.5i, that's the AT component, and then plus 0 0.3 6j, that is the an component, both in the unit of meter per second squared. So now the acceleration of a and b are both represented as Cartesian vectors. The relative acceleration of b with respect to a again equals to a b vector minus a a vector. So in this case, it equals to negative 0.366i minus 0.14j in the unit of meter per second squared. And its, its magnitude of this relative acceleration equals to square root of negative 0.366 squared plus negative 0.14 squared and that equals to 0 0.392 meter per second squared. And that concludes this problem.